Revealing area. <laughs> Place that in this scene. Oh no, my. Hello, Sova mains, and welcome to the final recon guide. We only have a bind left, so of course we need to make that as well. So we're just gonna get right into it. I love to play a heaven as Sova on bind. This is always where I play on this map. Uh, I know a lot of Sova players also like to play elbow. It just depends on your play style. But I'm gonna show you some arrows for both spots, obviously. But Definitely my best arrows are for, from A Heaven, just because that's where I play every time. So, most of my lineups from A Heaven revolve around using the same spot. So, what I do is I back into this corner here, and then I just back off until these two meet, like that. So, from this position, you can do many things. First of all, you can shoot an arrow that lands on B long here. Right here. So what this arrow does, it reveals if they push up B long, but it also reveals all the way down to short and fountain as well. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your left diamond right into this corner like this. So you can just see that little gap there like this. And do a two bar. Revealing area. And this one's just gonna fly across the map. And this arrow I use a lot. It lands right there on the ground. It's not a problem that it lands on the ground because even if they shoot it, that's information that there are people around the area of B. From the same spot, you can also hit inside hookah because there is a window up here in the roof. So you're gonna place your charge bar, make sure that you're lined up here once more. But this time you're gonna place your charge bar like this. So basically you're looking at these two corners and how the charge bar just kind of gets symmetric in that corner there. And once again you do a feeling area. This one's gonna fly in there and land in the corner of hookah. This is a really good arrow for your teammates because they can wall bang from B side. You can also hit behind showers from the same position, but it's not that important to be in an exact position for this one. You just want to aim, like, put your diamonds right above this chimney like this and just do one bar. Revealing area. And it's just gonna fly over here and land in the back wall there, so it also reveals all the way in through here to the orb. Same goes for middle, as long as you can see this crack here between the wall and the metal thing. So just back off with your back towards the wall and just go out until it doesn't need to be that exact But as long as you can see this crack then you're gonna place your right diamond on top of this metal thing and do a two bar one bounce Revealing area and this one's gonna fly here bounce off that wall and just land on top of the teleporter So this one reveals middle and also into hookah The last recon I do from a heaven is just the one for a short which is quite simple You just get as far out here as you can and then you're just gonna aim as close to this edge as you can and just do a full charge one bounce. Revealing area. And the reason one, why you want to get as far out as possible is because you want the arrow to land so you can still see up here. If you fire it from further to the left it's gonna bounce and hit here and then it doesn't see people hiding in this corner which is a really good corner to wall bang for your teammate that plays here. If you're playing eco or if you just want to push to get the orb for your ult, you can also just get into this corner here and just place your two diamonds right above this black line like this and do a one bar. Revealing area. It's just a nice way and it has good timing as well just to push out and play from that information. If the bomb is planted on A and you're rotating through spawn, you have two options. The first one is if it's planted, if they're playing A short, so you kind of think that they're playing in this area here, then the best one would be to just go into this barrel corner here and then just place your second charge bar line right somewhere in the middle here and do a one bar. Revealing area. This one's gonna fly over the roof here and land in this diagonal corner like that. And this one reveals a lot of spots. If it's the typical fake B play where they push up B long and then they take the teleporter, then they're most likely gonna be 
pushing and planting on the triple. In which case you don't really need a lineup, you just need to be running here and do a one bar in this general direction. Revealing area. And that should fly and hit the back wall. Like this. That's absolutely fine. Also, if your team gives you information that they have done the fake teleport thing and you're in a good position and you're early, you can also try to get on top of this X here and then use your bottom left hub line and place it right here on this, the edge of this thing here, like that. And do a two bar. Revealing area. So the idea behind this one is that then you can run like this. And then you'll pe peek exactly when that arrow lands and you can actually wall bang people who are about to peek you. So the timing on this one is really good. It flies through the window in the roof here. The simplest arrow you can have is when you're defending B and you just want to try to keep pushing the ultimate orb. You can just simply bounce your arrow off here like this right above this blue line. Revealing area. And it's just gonna fly back here on this wall and it sees this entire area. So it's really good to try to push the ultimate orb. If you're playing more defensively, it's typical to, for instance, hold elbow here. So a really cool arrow you can do is you find this little circle here. Get right on top of the circle like that. And then you're just gonna aim for the middle of this wall. With a double bounce two bar. Revealing area. And this one bounces twice and then spots here. So this is a really cool arrow that lands inside the TP for wall bang purposes. So it works on both attack and defense depending on what kind of situation you're in. So you get into this corner here and you just want to place your right diamond right in the edge of this corner like this and do a two bar double bounce. Revealing area. This one's going to fly off and bounce on that back building and then it's gonna bounce and go back into the TP and it lands up in this corner here so you can wall bang on it. It was actually found by Axel. If your team is giving you info that they are pushing A, you can actually arrow just outside the teleporter on showers. And the timing is really good because you're able to actually run there so you can wall bang from the inside of the teleporter just as you go. So what you do is you place your left drone wheel above this corner a bit above it like this and do full charge Revealing area. get your knife out and run to the TP as fast as you can you can stand here and wait for the arrow to land then it lands right here so you can actually wall bang people from inside the TP a nice and simple arrow to reveal mid when you're playing B defense is just to get into this corner here and place your right diamond right on the edge of this roof and do a one bar Revealing area. just gonna fly over here and land right here it even sees a bit of long and all the way up here if you want to reveal a short you can just go into this corner here and then you see the green bar below your drone icon you're just gonna place that right on the tip of this metal thing here and do a two bar Revealing area. And this one's just gonna fly up over here, land on the back wall, and scan all the way down here. It's actually pretty hard for them to shoot it too because it's they have to turn around and aim so high up. It's actually really good. Retaking B is really simple. You can even do it while running. You just run here and you aim for this like general direction about the height of these lines and the direction of this sign. So something like this. Revealing area. And it just hits this wall and pretty much scans everything you need it to scan here. Another retake arrow, you can just aim for this edge here like this and do a full charge. Revealing area. And that's also gonna reveal a bit more close to this area, but they're quite similar. For attack, we're gonna start with the A God arrow. So this one is really pixel perfect. So you just have to practice this in a custom game, but you get into this corner here, and this is by far the best arrow to push A with. So the idea is to take your right diamond and line it vertically up with this leaf here, but you're using the right side of your charge bar to line up with this edge of the leaf to know how far horizontally you're gonna be so first we find 
the line here with the diamond and then we pull it down until there's no more pixel crashing with the leaf there see like that no one bar revealing area so this is one gonna hit the bottom of this solar panel and it actually reveals both sides here and under and usually always finds something another really cool arrow I use a lot is for showers so you get into this corner here and you're just gonna aim right under this corner like this you need to practice this to get it completely pixel perfect and do one bar revealing area so this one is gonna land right in the roof window here it sees everything here and it's really hard to shoot as well if your team is pushing into hookah and you want to know if there's like a guy camping in the corner with a shorty or something you can get into this corner here and you place your left diamond aligned with this top edge here like this and do a one bar double bounce revealing area so this one is slow enough so that your team has time to push in and it lands here it's very easy to shoot this arrow but that's not the point because if they shoot the arrow you know that they're there so even if it gets shot instantly you get the info that you need so if you're in, for instance playing against the eco you would not push a shorty player if they are here so the b god arrow is also quite simple but still a bit pixel perfect so you have your back towards this wall here and you just go until this box lines up like that and then you're gonna look for not this thing with the shadow on but the one next to it here and you're gonna place your left mouse icon corner the top left corner of it so that this circle is just inside the square like that see there it is just inside that square and full charge it revealing area so the idea behind this one is that you can push up you can run you can run you can run you peek a bit you wait for the smokes and then it's gonna land right here and this arrow sees people inside hookah it sees people holding garden it sees people here in elbow and even people peeking from here the only spot it doesn't see is around here and inside the tube you can also shoot it slightly more to the right and then it would land here and that would solve the tube issue an arrow I use a lot if I have my ultimate to like try to get a quick pick off is to get into this corner here and you see this metal bar here you just aim a bit down like this from that metal bar and do a full charge one bounce revealing area so the idea behind this one is that it lands back sight here and scans people so this is one of those fast arrows where you use your ultimate straight away to try to tag someone so if you're pushing B long and you're suspecting an operator or something like that you can do an offensive B long check so you're just gonna have your back towards this wall and then start going out until you can see about this much of this sign and then just gonna aim a bit under it and do a full charge one bounce like this revealing area and this one lands right here sees garden sees here another cool little trick is to try to use a decoy arrow that makes them think that you're gonna push a so you can get into this corner here and then just aim for the top right corner of this sign revealing area like this and this one bounces and hits the a wall here so most likely this is gonna cause someone to not rotate while you're in a perfect position to push B so this is something that you need to find out if it's worth using because it's like a decoy recon that doesn't give you any info anyway thank you so much for watching my video if you loved it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it does help out a lot thank you very much and I'll see you on twitch